the fate timeline in a nutshell. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey, goopy galaxy, diddly dimension, rickety reality. Magic. Simple. Right? Wrong. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Erroneous. Yo, okay. Mistaken. All right, man. What are you, an idiot? I feel stupid watching Age this. Prop. This is so canon, this is not okay. canon. Oh. So I think it would just be easier if I just draw out the fake go timeline. Okay. Hey fans, welcome to another YouTube video where we are going to be checking now and badly explaining the entire Fate series in 30 minutes only. Now the last video that I checked out, trying to understand the Fate series and that was only about like 10 minutes. So it was like a kind of a short version and more of a meme one, but I believe this one is going to be going in detail. Shout out to him for this amazing video. And if you want to see me react to some more Fate content, make sure you leave a subscribe button down below. Without further ado, let's just get into it immediately. All right, here it is. is one of the most expansive franchises in all of anime what's that in the background is that someone's thigh i, I can't i can't help but notice in that between all the games anime manga light novel visual novels spin-offs it's probably one of the most daunting hold on we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen uh, about 15 or more stuff on the on, on the screen right now and there's like a video game as well ps vita wasn't that like 2010 or something oh my god to to get into. a little while ago i made a joke skit called trying to understand the fate franchise so it was a joke, how okay. Confusing the entire thing looked for an outsider looking in, and it really does. Aside, it was based on many real life conversations I've actually had with Fate fans trying to explain the franchise to newcomers. And every time, I don't know if I'm like a Fate fan. I guess. I mean, I am a fan of the animation so far. The video that I checked out for the top ten fights, incredible. The game looks awesome too when it comes to the the animations. I'm gonna be checking out all the Noble Phantasms by the way, so stay tuned for that. However, let me know if I classify as a fate fan already i haven't seen any anime but i plan on doing so so you know we'll see we'll see where to start i want to get an order something that happens i always hear, you know where to start the long version or do you want the short version because the short everyone asks for the short version but even the short version for an outsider can seem like a convoluted mess of information that's so, so true this is the short version but and it was I not it was not no one ever actually asked for it i've always wanted to myself mm. what is the long version isn't it like reading mostly? Try to understand all of fate and immediately regret my decision. Fascinates me. Originally okay. created by Kinoku Nasu, what started as just a single eroge visual novel has turned into a multi-billion dollar franchise with more media than any sane person can wrap their head around. Multi-billion? Oh my, dude, that's... That's two full pages with, I'm just going to take a wild guess, that's about 20 to 30 titles right there. And I'm assuming these are like games, visual novels, and anime, and movies combined. And I heard there's like three part movies too. There's just so much, but at the same time, it's kind of like a multiverse, you know? I think that's a very cool concept. The MCU exists, so I want like an MCU of anime, and I think that's fate. I mean, just look at all this sh Can you there's see more? how many there is? There's at least four. Five. So it can be easy to forget oh. how and why people became Five. fans in the first place. That many newcomers may even forget to ask, what is fate even about? My question is, what does fate even mean? If anyone can tell me that in the comments, like, what does the word signify? Is it just like your fate to be a king, a saber, a knight, an archer, which I understand are probably classes, right? Anybody could be a saber or a knight, from my understanding so far. Don't worry, I got you. The basic premise okay. revolves around a bunch of majors who can I'm only you spit, man. Earth's real history Ooh. and legends to do He's battle hot. over the Holy Grail, a mythical. Is that Lancer? It's my favorite character. What is called the Holy Grail War? Basically, it's a bunch of majors spending all their V Bucks to organize the ultimate <laughs> Fortnite, Apex Legends. <laughs> Apex Legends, Apex Legends I love that game. I hate it too. Between all your favorite people from history and legends to create the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. God, okay. My audience isn't too young to understand that reference. And the Holy Grail War is just basically Nasu going, what? Nasu, is, is that a person? Because you guys are telling me Nasu verse is like the thing, the whole world. <laughs> Let's just cut the video there. That's all you need to know about fate. However, oh, is the that it? random lore of the entire fate universe is unimaginably deeper than that. So much so that every single spin-off, anime, manga, novel, every single piece of mm. fate media takes place in a coherent universe, fitting somewhere on a grand. Most of these are still timeline, ongoing. Which is also shared with Nasu's other works, creating this grand universe known only as the Nasuverse. So you know mm, what I thought would be a there we good go. idea. What if I tried explaining the entire sure, man. timeline? 
Please do. Word being thought, implying it was me in the past tense. It was a sheer idea. Explaining all the fate, lore, and timeline in detail would take Is that hours Archer? and hours. I mean, just looks look like a new some one. Of these wiki pages. This isn't a wiki page. It's That's a an essay. Light novel. Saber lore. <laughs> That time some slag at a pawn threw a sword at me and I accidentally became the fucking king of England. So this is more like the, the king long, short version, and a woman. Or is it the short, hmm. long version? Or is it the medium version? It's an excuse to justify all the countless hours. I think it all depends on the person. Also, that thigh is distracting me. Oh my God. Who is that person in the background? Please let me know in the comments. But I just, I just want to say that the long version, the short version, it all depends on the person. Your definition of short could be different. For me, short would be like an anime that's only 12 episodes. You know, that's pretty short to me. But for other people short could be even like a 50 episode anime who knows this hellhole obviously there is going to be spoilers but i'm right. going to try and keep it focused on the lore and universe and where every series fits i appreciate the that rather than what actually happens in any individual series convince so, me man hopefully it won't spoil your experience too much if you decide to walk into hell with us so with that said that's what you guys mean welcome to hell oh my god that makes so much sense i got so many comments about that all of faith too late now, gone. All we have to do is just turn the camera off. Should I be excited? No one will ever have to know. <laughs> the fate timeline in a nutshell. The biggest effing nutshell. That, that was Giga three months ago. I've been putting off filming this for three months. Three months? Wait, I'm just gonna leave a like immediately. Great hard work, man. We love to see that. Now. Oh, three months this is my dissertation all over again. just for this Hello, video's sake i'm gonna to watch the first episode of fate at least using the fate timeline i'm going to be cosplaying the most powerful servant in the history of the fate timeline saber steve handjobs but before we get to the fate timeline, huh? there are a few core concepts we need Hand to find out first so everything makes sense firstly okay. is akasha see fate exists in this grand world of magic and mages where you can summon heroic beings from the past present and future and all of this derives from Akasha. What is Akasha? See, Akasha okay. is this metaphysical place that exists outside of time and dimensions that is the source of all events and all the souls. So that's why time past and present and is like one. To make me sound smart. Basically, everything that's ever happened and everyone you know, you can thank Akasha for it. 2020 okay. as a whole? Thanks, Akasha. The chat <laughs> himself, Chug Jug's Fortnite remix. Oh my god. Thanks, Akasha. The one time in class you thought you had a silent fart, but you ripped out a fat one. Akasha, and got it. You your brain still reminds you about it every time you go about to sleep. Thanks, Akasha. You, Akasha. So oh. instead of wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff, this is more like wibbly wobbly, timey wimey, goopy galaxy, diddly dimension, rickety reality. I think I should click so, off of this video already. It's only been six minutes. This at the same time, meaning there are no spin offs. Every fate is canon. Life is a line. Yes, that smutty dojin of Minamoto going ada ada on your. Is this like part of the, the canon thing, like the main series, or is that like a fan made type of thing? Because he did say Dojin, so I don't know. Well, canon in some Link, timeline. please. You can't prove me otherwise. Are you with me? Good. This is important because the end goal of every mage in the fate universe is to find a way to reach the root of Akasha. But Giga, why okay. do all mages want to find the root of Akasha? Well, yeah. I'm glad you asked, probably confused viewer. I am very, very good. Right this is just the beginning. Well, this would be a good time what? to talk about the magic system that exists in the Nasi verse. Because as we all know, sure, man. in this universe, mages exist and use magecraft, aka magic. Simple. Right? Wrong. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Erroneous. Yo, okay. Mistaken. All right, man, chill. I can't think of any more words off the top of my head. What are you, an so... idiot? Why would anyone assume that magic and magic? I feel stupid watching this. Magecraft are the same thing. Look at this guy. Typical man that can't tell the difference between magic and magecraft. No, 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 no. You got magecraft, the weak source imitation butter. Ooh, I can't believe it's not magic. <laughs> and then you got the Dude. Chad true magic. Okay, this that's true magic. Gourmet shit. This is the shit real okay. mages want to use. The kind of shit Gordon Ramsay has to taste like mm. he goes, mm. Finally, some good fucking magic. But this premium shit can only be achieved by mages who view Akasha. And once someone gets that Game of magic, Thrones, that path to Akasha is cut off, and then the magic can only be used by the direct descendants of that original mage. Basically, no one has okay. real magic, and they're trying to get to the root of Akasha so they can stop using the peasant dollar store magecraft. Ah, oh, I what if see. The third magic was just 
the power to create fake porn. Are what those his real shoes? Oh, they're not. I was gonna say. Mythical place called Akasha. Well, you have this thing called the counter force. The this counter kind of like force. The mechanism that stops the world from going extinct because the earth is actually alive and has a will and don't worry about that right now. And the counter force itself is made up of two parts. The collective unconscious will of humanity itself to survive, mm -hmm. a liar, and the a will liar. of the planet itself, Gaia. A liar, why, Gaia. Why is this important? Because the counter force has powerful defense mechanisms, like being able to summon heroic spirits from- Earth. She's so bad, oh my- Dude, these are my two favorite characters when it comes to male and female, oh my god. I know that guy's name is Lancer, but what about the woman on the right? History, she got a blindfold to on too? Herself, which we call servants. Servants. Sound familiar? I understood that reference. So it'll intervene anyone trying to get to Akasha, aka the goofy galaxy timey wimey place, and mages mm -hmm. have to find a way around it. Are you with sure. me? Sure. Are you with me? I am, I am, sir. If you're already confused, yeah. may I introduce to you the phrase everyone in the fate fandom holds in the highest That's worse. esteem as the holiest words in our gospel. Don't worry about it. Why is the okay. cast of fate state night sharing a nice wholesome meal instead of trying to brutally murder each other? Don't worry about it. How do reality bubbles work? Don't Reality worry bubbles. What is the moon. Don't worry. It's a moon. It. No, please, please don't worry about it. Please don't ask me what the moon is. I'm all not right, gonna fucking right, talk fine. about the moon. <laughs> to recap, what is the moon? You have Akasha, the timey wimey goofy galaxy rickety reality place that every mage is trying to get to, so mm. they can use the top tier gourmet true magic. But the only thing stopping them is the counter force, which the they have to try force. find a way around. Did you get all that? This yeah. is all the background I'm catching up. you need to know. Before we start the timeline. We haven't even started the timeline. <laughs> you know, originally I wanted to visualize the timeline physically by having things stuck against the wall strung together with a string or something that like that. Will like cool. That will be cool. Sunny meme. But then I soon realized I don't have a wall big enough. So yeah, you're going to run out of space. Definitely not because I want to rip off Nakey Jakey. Now starting right at the beginning, before any mages, before any servants, before any holy grail wars, you have the Age of God. So yeah, the Age of right Gods. at the beginning of Fate Law, there was this period of time where gods roamed the earth with man, mythical creatures existed, and I shit me Okay, not. that's uh, pretty Physics typical. Apparently just wasn't a thing. Yeah. yeah. Apparently this thing called mystery governed the law of the worlds, which I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Don't worry about it. Like, I just imagine- We don't have to pay attention to that stuff, right? An apple and physics tries to drop it, and Mystery's like, no, 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 no. We mm. do not do that here. And then the apple just flies off to fucking Narnia. But everything changed when the Sephir nation attacked. The- Your Sephir. This next time period is called- Yo, she Interior can attack me anytime. This titan called Sephir invaded and destroyed most of the world and was only beaten back by this mighty sword called Excalibur. After the attack- the Excalibur. Weakened, I've, I've heard, heard that name before. Like, Yo, is, um, is, is anyone going to drop that apple? Which takes us to separation. So the gods are a little pissed that they can't go down to earth anymore because they're so weak. So they make right. Gilgamesh, who's two thirds god. You guys have been telling me to check out this guy's fight as well. Is it going to be a spoiler or not? Because if it isn't, I could check it out. You know, why not? Because... Gods don't give a shit about maths, apparently. With the intention of Why would making they? him the keystone to connect the gods and the humans. Now, if anyone uh... not familiar with the fate verse, how can I explain Gilgamesh? He's a Giga Chad, you know man. One meme is this some peasant joke I'm too poor to understand? Well, imagine if that meme was reincarnated as a person. That's Gilgamesh. So, yeah, he decides to rebel, and the okay. gods are like, no. <laughs> This guy? This guy doesn't want to take orders from us. No, come on, come on, you're, you're joshing us right now. This is a prank. Come I like on, the hidden cameras. I'm on MTV Punks, aren't I? And so with that, the gods cannot interfere with humans anymore. And thus begins... So he's a good guy. From the the year, Age of Man. AD, the Yo, Gilgamesh is a Giga Shad. Magic and Magecraft is replaced with science. And most importantly, physics exists now, guys. Yeah! Finally. I was meant to Which is boring. Popper, but I completely forgot to. Alan, can you, uh, can you edit a party <laughs> popper in this video, please? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Screw your mystery. I have E equals MC squared. Okay. Remember right at the beginning of this video when I said the Fate franchise was about this mm. thing called the Holy Grail? Yeah, and the well, Akasha. We can finally start talking about the Holy Grail. See, okay. The Grail is touted as this omnipotent magical wish granting device, and that 
Mm. Only partially true. How many See, wishes do you get? These epic magic gamer girls called the Einsburn family figured out a way gamer to girls? Gotcha. That place that gives you true epic gamer magic? By using yeah. the Holy Grail to summon seven heroic spirits and then sacrifice them. AKA and servants? Using that manner to summon an even greater grail called... The Greater Grail, which has access oh. to the root of Akasha. But of course, all the various magic gamer girls and boys couldn't agree on who would actually get access to this magic, so they decided to have a meeting to decide. One could even say that it was a magic. The Gathering. Or in fate, oh we just my this god, the bro, Grail, these jokes! Which finally leads us to the timelines to all the war so far. Oh, I can't Summoning the first Holy Grail war. So okay. Of some fictional war that happened. <laughs> okay, so you've got like the first Holy Grail War, which happened around the 1800s. This right. This is when the three main mage families, the Einsburns, the Tosakas, and the Matos, couldn't agree on who could get access to the Grail. So they were like, guys, we've got a bunch of servants lying about. Tournament arc, tournament arc, tournament arc, tournament arc, tour! This was hardly what you'd call an actual war, though, and more like a 3 a.m. brawl at the local mage pub. Yeah, fair enough. Everyone got bored and time ran out. Then came the second Holy Grail War in the 1860s with the same party. 60 years involved, later. This time, everyone went a bit fucking mental because everyone mm. died, nobody won, and future generations Everyone? Like, Wait a minute. Do we need rules? I know this girl. I've seen her so much when it comes to like cosplays and just edits of, you know, TikTok edits and whatnot. What the f What's her name? The red one, the red then shirt. Came the third ponytails. Holy Grail War in the 1930s where the church gets How many wars are there? Like, um are you using the- Is that Joker's theme or something? No, that's that's not Joker's theme. That's uh, Playboy Cardi, I think, but it's a Joker Holy edit from Fire Force. God! I'm is it? Copy strike that. And everyone's happy with that because they can enforce the rules. So the church is like, all right, gamers, I want a fair fight. No going for the eyes, no kicking below the belt, and for God's sakes, no summoning any illegal servants. So then yeah. the lines burn. There's a legal servant. And so they get this totally new servant. Is this real or is that a fan art? Bro is tatted up. Oh my Angry Mayu, aka the Angry Mango, who's meant to be this super badass ultra OP new He is! Wait, is that the real? The whole JK is actually super weak and dies and is literally so angry he gives the grill food poisoning. Oh. Then we've got what? the four Why would you spoil? War, which is oh basically my God. just the events of Fate Zero. I'm not going to spoil what happens in it. Fate, thank you. And finally, we have the grand sugar daddy that birthed everything we're talking about. Ah, uh, so Fate Zero comes before Stay Night, but at the same time, there's so many people that tell me don't watch Zero, watch Fate Stay Night first and then Fate Zero. But like, why would I do that when it doesn't align with the timeline? I don't know. We'll find Holy out, I guess. Holy Grail War, aka the events of Fate Stay Night. Following Shiro fighting in it, using the power of friendship and fucking. I mean, mana transfer. And this CG dragon still haunts my nightmares. Okay. What's important here is, is that, that this war has a... I mean, mana transfer. And this CG dragon still... No way that was real in the anime. Oh my god, he looks so cute and funny. Haunts my nightmares. Is that What's supposed to be dangerous? This war has at least Terrifying? three different timelines because the original Fate Stay Night was a visual novel with three different routes. You've got the Fate Route, Unlimited Blade Words, and Heaven's Field. Or, oh. more simply, you got the Saber Route, the Best Girl Route, and the Sakura Route. Oh, so that that girl with the skirt and the red top and the ponytails is an Unlimited Blade Works, which I think is a movie by Ufotable. That's just my understanding from the comments section. I thought it was like going to be an anime season, but I'm guessing it's a movie. And then Heaven's Feel has three movies or three parts. With extra fucking. I mean, what's I mean, the order for that? though? But it doesn't stop there because next we got Fate Hollow Adoraxia, which is kind of like a sequel to Fate Stay Night because it takes place six months after the events that happened in there. So you may be okay. wondering which one of the three routes it follows yes. and the answer is yes so one of the main girls that did not help me one bit so one of the main girls from fate stay nights rin is doing some magic experiments and rin there's a little bit of an oopsie and um completely up the space-time continuum, merging all Wait, parallel really? universes together, and I know what you're thinking. Oh no. This doesn't sound like a little oopsie. This sounds a bit That's more a like a big oopsie, bro. Right? But it's all good because she looks great in thigh highs. So we're she really does. Set, Best outfit. Off screen in the original Fate Stay Night, and she is now alive along with Angry Mayu, aka the Angry Mango, and they're stuck in a grand hole. Oh, so he comes back to life? Same four days over and over, and she has to because the timeline messes up without fading from existence because she was originally dead, and I guess people die if they don't exist. Since most of this takes place in a time loop, this yeah. is basically just Fate Re Zero Edition. So you can essentially just call it Fate Zero. Wait. And you know what? That's basically oh. everything for the flagship fate series. 
Okay. Oh, I, I, you know what? Guys. He's doing a good job. Woo! That was pretty simple, right, guys? Way better well, than the last been... video. Of course, Never mind. we are going to have to fill this timeline in with all the other fake media out there. So, let's do the time warp again. No, oh, I don't want God. to. <laughs> I don't fucking cut that. All right, so let's start with Fate Apocrypha. So the Fate Apocrypha right. timeline is exactly identical to the original timeline, except okay. when we get to the Third Holy Grail War, where the timeline was like, you know what? The Nazis. Because of course it's the Nazis. So the Nazis okay. join the Third Holy Grail War, and instead of there being a winner, the Nazis steal the Great Grail system. And so after that, a Transylvanian Nazi mage guy steals it from the Nazis again. And then I guess the Nazis go on to lose World War II as usual. Fast forward to the future and somehow the entire world finds out about the Greater Grail system and every right. the dog tries to make a cheap imitation of it. And so because of this, the Ten Transylvanian Nazi sorcerer crazy. guy vows to make the Holy Grail War great again. And so he makes... The Great Holy Grail War. What? what? Another I war? You not, this is what it's called. And so now instead of seven servants, you have 14 servants separated into two teams, red and black. That's okay. right, it's a team deathmatch. Team deathmatch! Mm. Death death that sounds fun. Stab it! And so we get a season of red versus black, Mordred is hot, and Astolfo makes straight guys question their sexuality, Ooh. and gay guys question their sexuality, she and Maddie. gay girls question their sexuality. The Mordred girl, I think? And me question my life choices for spending $400 for a dick. That concludes the events of Hitler's Day Night. Next on the menu, we have today's menu for Emmy and family. Did you, did, did you see what I did there? This is, I think, just another alternate ending to the Fifth Holy Grail War, where I guess... Nobody Alternate dies, ending. and they all just sit around cooking and playing volleyball and being happy, and this is so canon, not okay? canon. Oh. They never explain where this takes place on the timeline, but- I just said, so that's not canon, and you screamed at me saying that is canon. But how is that canon if it's an alternate ending? What? I don't care. They're all happy. I can't what? have made it. It's canon. Like, in my mind, this is the reality when someone just tried playing the fake visual novel, but got bored five minutes after reading words, and then just left. And never came back. And then all these characters are just sitting around having a gay old time waiting for the Holy Grail War to start. Is that Berserker? This is what happened. This is the reality where Sea Dog VA tried to play Fate. All right, so I'm just going to make mm. a Fate Stay Night <laughs> bubble. And then I'm yes, going to Fate Tiger Coliseum and Fake Unlimited Codes in this bubble because they're just fighting games and they're already beating the shit out of each other in the series anyway. Oh, so I like fighting I games. Guess these are just the filler I love Tekken. we never got to see. Then we've got Fate School Life, which is kind of like a slice of life spin off in the Fate Stay Night universe that also has Adaraxia characters in it. So I guess it goes here. Can you tell how I'm sure I am right now? Lord Elmaloy's Case Files. This is basically just CSI. Whoa, Max. that animation was crazy. Look at that. Look, oh my goodness. Files. They look dope. This is basically just CSI magic that takes place after Fate Zero, but before Fate Stay it's Night, barring Fate Zero's waiver. Except waiver's gone from daddy step on me to uh, 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 oh. You know what I'm getting? There's like a lot of, I guess, seasons or novels or just anime spinoffs of different characters characters like focusing on the different people in general and so if you were to start in a certain order you can always go back and watch these you know spinoffs and stuff because i don't think it's really that important for them to be in order as long as you enjoy everything about the universe right it's like watching the avengers in order but then you could go back and watch any spider-man and enjoy it still because you like the character that much Step on me, daddy. all right now we get into the manly Like, shit. what I'm saying is, as long as you watch the main stuff, like Fate Zero, Stay in Night, Unlimited Blade Works, Heavens, whatever that's called, in order, it would make more sense. And then when it comes to, the, like, these little things, alternate universes and spinoffs, just do whatever, right? Fate DJ Khaled. Like At least that's how I understand Ilya it. It's a spinoff where Ilya becomes a magical girl. And instead of summoning servants, the magical girls can use these magical cards to channel the power cards? of the servants. And oh. also, there's a magical talkie wand. Don't worry about it. Before I properly got into the Fate franchise... What am I looking at? There is no explanation for this. I thought that this was just an unrelated... Their hands are interlocked. ...with the main universe, but no. Not only does this directly diverge from the main timeline, but it has main? two separate universes within Bro, their its kids. own universe. It's a f***ing Ilya multiverse. And the beginning of the Ilya multiverse 
doesn't even have Ilya in it. I need oh, Tylenol. God, I love you so much, Faye, but you just don't make things easy, do you? All right, I'm going to try and do my best, so stick with me here. The first universe... No wonder it's a multi-billion dollar company. Under snow. ...following this girl called Miyu, which is why we call this the Miyuverse, because her name is Miyu and she's the child of God, don't worry about it. She's taken in by Shiro, and then they have another Holy Grail War. Taken the in? Usual Holy Grail War, but the Ironsworth Holy Grail War. Can you guess why it's called the Ironsworth Holy Grail War? Made by the Ironsworth. Shiro then sends me to an alternate universe, which we call the Iliaverse, which is all sunshine and rainbows, where the fourth Holy Grail War didn't happen and Kiritsugu's father of the year. You got cute girls doing cute things, cute mm -hmm. girls doing magical things, and cute girls doing each other. This is the universe. I'm not gonna go back to that, and I'm just sorry, I'm not a big fan of like the cute girl anime. And like, I could not give a flying crap about Fate, Kaylee, Liner, Prisma, Ilya or Prisma Elia two-way. If it's just gonna be little girls doing cute things and stuff, I'm good, man. I want that, you know, that Giga Chat fighting, the unlimited Blade Works, you photable animation type stuff. Universe where season one Probably gonna skip this. Elia happens, but then you have season three, which jumps back into the Miiverse. And if you think that complicates okay. the timeline, how about Dude, this little this knowledge timeline. of mine? So, in the original Face Day Night, Ilya is 18. She's 18. Uh, okay. She's older than Shiro. But in the Iliaverse, she's the same age as when the timelines diverge, which theoretically should make her the same age as she was in Fate Stay Night. Why is she? But is that canon? Not. And the series makes it very clear that she is under 18. So which is it, Fate? Which is it? I need to know. You know, I would say don't worry about it. But I'm pretty sure the FBI are going to do that for me. Exactly, right, bro. Moving the fuck on from this mess of a legal yes. situation. Yes. Don't even comment awesome, about that stuff. I don't. I do not care. Us. This splits off from the third Holy Grail War in the Angry Mango timeline, where all the world's mana dries up because some kind of event. So in the 2030s, all the mages turn into hackers and they try to right. hack the moon because the moon has a mm. supercomputer on it that was placed there by aliens that they found. And so inside okay. this supercomputer moon, there exists this entire digital Pokemon. world. And so the supercomputer moon is hosting a virtual reality holy grail war because it's actually Is that FGO Arcade? <laughs> I don't realize how ridiculous this sounds until I read it out loud. Don't worry! about it so yeah it turns out i'm not worrying at all shit and you can hack the moon and it also has rin sakura and kirei from the original fate stay night hey as long as it has rin i'm in but not the original they're kind of rhymed sakura and kirei from the original fate stay night what are you stupid they're just <laughs> characters who look sound and dress exactly the same but they're not but they're different are you you can't about make it? this up because i'm not so you got the Fate Extra games, the Fate Extra Triple C games. Oh and then my god, Anime. Fate, what are Fate you doing to Extra me? Fate Last Encore in its own separate timeline that takes place in the year 3000. Is it actually a musical? Great, great, great granddaughter. Just Rin. Fate Grand Order. Oh god, you're not gonna make me Finally! Grand Order. All right. Okay. Now we're truly in hell. So Fate Go is a mobile gacha game along some anime adaptations where the first Holy Grail I've never, never seen happened. what the game looks the like. The world is fucked for some reason. And That's Attack on Titan. And you travel back in time to various points in history to fix the timeline. And every different timeline you Please fix do. is called Singularities. Basically, imagine ah. Fate Back to the Future, except there are like seven sequels, all with different diverging timelines. <laughs> Fast and, and furious. you your mum. You're just trying to fuck all the servants. All right, so for simplicity's sake, I think it would just be easier if I just draw out the Fate Go timeline. Okay. <laughs> what did I expect? What did I Fate expect? Prototype, which is Kinokunasu's original concept for Fate, where King Arthur's actually a guy? Get Get out of here with your damn historical inaccuracy. Jeppard from Star so Rail. this is just a non-existent project because the only thing that exists is a 12-minute trailer that was made purely for fan service. Which is even more bizarre. Why would they do that? Fate prototype Fragments of Sky Silver, which is the prequel to Fate's prototype. They made a prequel, a full light novel prequel, to a 12 minute commercial. Like Are they just bored out of their minds? Who does that? Making a whole series of a pre prequel or just a trailer that's 12 minutes long and it's just for what, love for the fans? Bro, Do what? They really They're bored. Do fans are that hungry for content? Yeah. <laughs> like Moon just sitting there being like, all right, fate fans, open wide. Oh, <laughs> oh content, oh. 
Give me like, anything. What the heck? And then this prequel to a project that basically doesn't even exist has a side story called Fate Labyrinth. What? A side story! A side? This is, this is like a side quest. On suicide watch. <sighs> you can tell that line was written months ago because, um... Yeah, where the f*** did this come from? And all this would be a completely alternate universe with no connection to the original universe, but I shit you not, one of the characters has a dream that connects this universe to the Fate Stay Night universe. <laughs> yep. It's literally canon by dream. All right, I think we're getting close to the end. Next is I Fate hope so. Strange Fake. This is a light novel series that takes place after- Fate Strange Fake. I don't even know what's real at this point. Holy Grail War in America, where they do their own Holy Grail War with hookers and blackjack, written by the same guy who did Barkano. As a recording, we don't know if this follows on from the main flagship timeline or is part of an alternate universe, but what we do know is that there's a servant called Watcher and it's literally just a whale in the sky. Oh, whale? I'm sorry, I must have missed the legend where a flying whale saves Earth. Does Free Willy count as a legendary hero of history now? That's Fate Type Redline. It's Tokyo in the 1940s. She's cool. The Nazis are at it again, but this time so are the Japanese military. It's the Third Grail War with seemingly no other connections to any of the Grails, and it's the manga. So we're going back in time again, 1940. We've got Fate Not a lot about this or story right now because it's not been No, that was 1800s. But what we do know is that it's set in the future after some kind of Holy Grail War, and somehow everyone has their own Holy Grail. And also there's this new servant called Voyager, who I guess is the Voyager space probe, except I have no clue how a space probe becomes a servant, let alone a blonde show to boy, let alone a blonde show to boy. Bro, what are we talking servant. about? And don't tell me to worry about it, cause I'm not. Can you see how much I'm not worrying about it? I am not Can you just give me it. the order, please? But seriously, I'm just here for my order. Finally, in a bubble within its own bubble within its own fucking dimension is Carnival Phantasm. Where Don't all the care. Characters and other characters from Nasu's other works are just hanging out, I guess. Yeah, it's like canon, right? Sense. I have no idea where this fits in the timeline. I think this is just the bubble reality where Akashi got fucking drunk. And that's it. That's it? That Let's go. It's the long version. Kind of. Oh, but Giga, okay. what about the rest of the Nazi verse? You gonna do that as well? No. Yo, are you really going to? Oh my god, he might. He actually about, might. No. Originally, oh. this was meant to be a grand video where I talked about all the Fate funny stay things I found out about Fate Law as a whole. <laughs> but when I started it, I kind of realized I'm gonna need 20 minutes just to explain the timeline. So mm. you know what? This may just be the first part in a multi-series lecture from hell. Because the worst thing about Fate There's is more? that after going through all the timelines, after connecting all the lore, after spending far too many hours consuming Fate media, please give me an order. pages upon pages of wiki articles, it kind of makes sense. Oh god, this chart actually makes sense to me. Bro, the look at this chart. It's actually the simplest part of Fate lore. Fate is just an all-encompassing hole that just gets darker and gloomier the deeper you go down. People okay. wonder what's at the bottom of the abyss in Maiden Abyss. It's just the f***ing entrance to the Fate hole. You want the real short version Fate newcomers? You watch yes. either of these two, and then watch this, and then watch whatever the f*** you want. Okay, so he said watch Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works, and then Fate Zero, and then Fate Stay Night Heaven's Feel. Wait, did he say that in order or just any of them in any order? Let's see, let's Either see. Either of these two. Either of these two. So I could start with Zero or Stay Night. You guys let me know. Stay Night is basically Unlimited Blade Works, right? Which is a movie. I think watching a movie would be dope. I'm not sure if it's a movie. Once again, please let me know. If you guys comment like Stay Night or Zero first, just put in brackets it's a movie or whatever. Because if it's a movie and you guys want to see my reaction, I'll do it. I'll, I'll make a whole anime reaction. I'll even give you guys an uncut version and put it on my Patreon. Why not? The movie. Okay, Heaven's Feel is a movie. Unlimited Blade Works. I don't know if that's a movie. Fade Zero. I think that's a season, not a movie. Well, you know what? Start with the spin-offs. Bro, are you serious? Start with lesbian lollies kissing. Uh, start with no. fate master chef. Fuck. Start with the Dijinshi nope. for all I care. Yes. Just ignore all the shit I'm going on in the comment section right now. The reality is, it doesn't really matter where you start, <laughs> as long as it looks interesting to you. I will never ignore my comment section. I promise you, I'm gonna be replying or at least, you know, acknowledging and reading and liking every single comment. Dude, so go, go ahead. For it. The problem is there's so many people who are obsessed with optimizing the perfect read and watch order that right. they forget that if you enjoy the experience and it gets you into fate, then who the f 
cares what order you watch it in. Cause look, memes aside, the fate law may be well a convoluted said. mess to unravel, but it is an awesome franchise. It's a series that can have amazing fights with balls right. to the walls action and magical moments that cut deep into your heart. And then mm. Thomas Edison shows up as a lion. Because if what? you reach the end of this video knowing nothing about fate, and this is the video that's convinced you to give it a try. What the fuck is wrong with you? This? This got you interested in fate? Oh, <laughs> listen, God, no. why didn't you just listen to me the first time and go over the short version? You know what? This. I'm done. I'm done. I have to say, it definitely has helped me a lot. Compared to the short version of it, right, that we watched in the last video, this one made a lot more sense. I totally understand why there's so many parts of it. It almost feels like that the, the author or the writer or people that make this anime are just bored at some points and just want to release anything for the fans because the fans are like so devoted and hungry and dedicated. However, before you guys start arguing or whatever, like what's the correct order? Here's my question, right? Tell me the best way to start fate in terms of of enjoyment when it comes to the animations all right priority would be just really hype scenes top-notch animations we're talking jjk style of course i enjoy my story i love it but i don't want like insanely long dialogues and lore right off the bat because if that's like in the in the first part when i'm starting the the fate series then i'm just gonna get bored real real fast as opposed to if i start with something really cool and hype and it really gets me interested and i want to know more about the characters then i can dive into something that's more lore oriented so yeah that's that just be my suggestion if you guys want to comment on that go ahead so far the one that has interested me the most i would say would be this one right here fate unlimited blade works i gotta say just from the cover fate stay night unlimited blade works looks the most hype one let me know if that's a movie and i might just start with that that being said if you guys want to see some more fate content whether it's fgo or just the fate series in general subscribe to the channel for more content like this i've also recently launched a patreon for full uncut anime reactions that i have been watching a lot of jjk Okay, we've been uploading daily so if you're interested in that you can check that out and you know what if we get enough people i'm gonna go ahead and post the entire fate series unlimited blade works or stay night zero whatever you want to call it episodes movie reactions and all of that good stuff but yeah make sure to leave a thumbs up down below subscribe for more content like this and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye